Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Yes, I'm in the same t-shirt as my last video. What can I say? I like it. That's all I can say. Today's video is my August favorites. I'm sorry I skipped July favorites, but I really wasn't wearing a lot of makeup this summer, honestly, to be honest. But now we are back and I have wrapped up all of my favorite products that I have been using for the last month or all summer pretty much. And so yeah, if you wanna see everything that I have been loving, then just keep watching this video. So the first thing is really exciting that I want to talk about now. This is not sponsored, just to put that out there. This product was sent to me, but I am not getting paid to say any of this. Just throwing that out there. But yeah, I've been using it every day. You can like literally even ask my boyfriend, not that you would, but he knows I've been using it every day. And it is the new Foreo UFO Smart Mask. So it looks like this. It is like the craziest little contraption. It is like this little circle. And Foreo is like, they created the um, the silicone, I, I think it's silicone, uh, cleansing contraption. So they're very good with like, technology and skincare and they kind of create tools for skincare and this is their latest one and it is a smart mask and I kind of like I saw it at an event and I literally was like I need that in my life she was explaining it to me and I was like I need this um so they reached out to me and sent me one but it is actually the coolest thing so it is a 90 second mask so basically it takes sheet masks which are so popular and this little contraption combines them and allows you to use a mask in only 90 seconds. So you don't have to sit around your house like wearing that sheet mask or wearing a bright green or dark black charcoal mask like with your family thinking you're crazy. This gets it done in 90 seconds. It's called an LED thermo activated smart mask. So you get these little sheet masks. I have tons of them and they're individually wrapped and there's an app and it's so smart. You like go on the app, you take a picture of this barcode. Okay, it is so smart, it's smarter than me. You take a picture of this barcode, put it on the app, it all of a sudden knows what mask and then you take it out and it literally you like clips in right here. So it's just this little circle of a sheet mask and then you clip it in, turn it on. See how it's like all lighting up? Cool. Then, it connects to your phone and you start going and you just basically hold this and rub this all around your face and each mask does something different and this machine is equipped with three different LED colors so like blue light, green light, red light which all do different things for your skin. It also heats up which is so relaxing and so gorgeous and then it also like pulsates on your skin to really activate all your cells and promote cell turnover. So it does so many like cool things. I feel like I'm using this like robot contraption um, and I just love it. I absolutely love it. And I've been using like the brightening mask which is gorgeous. The night mask is gorgeous. It's I, I feel like my skin looks so good since using this so I highly recommend it. And guess what? They've offered a coupon a giveaway, a one-time use for my subscribers. So if you guys wanna win a $150 voucher to Foreo on their website to buy the Foreo UFO, then you're in luck, because here's your chance. So I am doing a giveaway, all the details will be listed down below, but it's really simple. You have to be subscribed to me, and then you just subscribe to the Foreo YouTube account and the Foreo Instagram account. That's it. I will leave everything down below, it is so easy international and all the details will be listed down below when the contest ends and when I'll be picking a winner so make sure you check the description box but I've been loving this I've been using it non-stop and I have so many masks still to use okay moving right along I've talked about this but I can't talk about it enough this is the Dior face and body backstage foundation I'm in the shade 1W wearing it today as I said in my last video I'm obsessed with this. To me, this is a perfect foundation. I know a lot of you like the watery, not watery, that's the wrong word, but like water blend foundations, like MAC Face and Body, Estee Lauder Water Blend, um, Makeup Forever Water Blend. This one beats them all. This one is the best. This one is my favorite water blend foundation that I've ever used, ever. And they have a ton of shades. I apply this with my fingers or my beauty blender and I just love it. The worst thing to do in life is to put your makeup on, go in your car and look in the drop down mirror. Everything looks bad in that mirror, right? Not this foundation. I literally took down the mirror and I was like, I'm sorry. And I show my boyfriend, I'm like, I, can't, I couldn't stop looking at my skin. It looks completely undetectable on the skin, I swear to you. It is a medium coverage. It can be full. It could be light. Mix it in with some... Um, uh, 
uh, moisturizer, that's what I'm trying to say, and go to town. So if you want a medium coverage, this is it. It's not like a light coverage by any means. It definitely starts at a medium coverage, but I love it. It just gets it done because it's a medium coverage, but, but, but doesn't look like a medium coverage. It gives you just a flawless base. You don't look matte. You don't look flat, but you also don't look greasy or messy. It's long lasting. I love it. It's my new favorite foundation of all time. Next favorite is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I have been using this nonstop. It has replaced my Becca Hydra Mist. I used to love that, but it's funny, that one like felt so hydrating and cooling, but now it's lost that. So it only felt like that for like the first couple weeks when you applied it, it feels like wet almost. It doesn't feel like that anymore, and I kind of feel like it's like a nothing powder now that it doesn't feel like that. This is wonderful. I'm wearing it today. It sets the under eyes beautifully. I just pretty much put it underneath my eyes and in my T-zone. It works like the Laura Mercier powder. It just sets everything. It brightens everything, but it doesn't leave you looking too flat. I would be careful with it still. I wouldn't apply a crazy amount. Like a little does go a long way. Um, it doesn't make your makeup as long lasting as a Laura Mercier because that's just like crazy mattifying, but it is beautiful. It does still leave you a little bit natural looking. It doesn't leave you completely flat, which is what I like. So been loving this. My eyeshadow palette, my born to run eyeshadow palette by Urban Decay. I've talked about this a lot. I've done looks with it on Instagram. It's, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Oh, I love the pinks. I love the golds. I haven't gone into these, but I think since fall is right around the corner, I'm going to probably have to do a tutorial or a look on Instagram using these shades because they look gorgeous. This is so versatile because there's so many mattes. There's so many neutrals. There's so many just like light shimmery shades. Like this whole top row is so neutral. And then even like the crazy colors, like there's still browns and blacks and like grays and dark golds so it's just like a couple colors that are crazy so it's just a very unique palette in my opinion but still a very wearable palette even though it seems like really really crazy i love the packaging it's like completely sturdy with a huge mirror so you gotta get this one. One blush I have been wearing nonstop, and this is an oldie but a goodie in my little Z palette here, and this is Makeup Geek Romance. It's stunning. I have worn it nonstop. I'm wearing it today. You don't even need a highlighter with this because it has a shimmery gold. It's like a pinky peach with a gold shimmer through it. It's cheap. It's Makeup Geek, and it's stunning. It looks like NARS Orgasm, but like I find NARS Orgasm a little bit too obnoxious. Uh, so this one's stunning. I've used it on brides. I've done three brides with this. It looks gorgeous on every skin tone. It just gives your skin a gorgeous golden glow. The perfect pinky peach shade. No one, you gotta get this blush. I'm not even gonna talk about this because you know it's a favorite. The Hourglass Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow and Foil. You know this is a favorite. We don't even need to go there. I've talked about this so much. Everyone on YouTube has talked about this so much. It is a loose glitter eyeshadow. It is a bright gold color. It is so stunning. You just like pat it on in the center of your lid and you are good to go. It is so beautiful. That's all I'm gonna say about that. This is new to me. This is the It Cosmetics Superhero Eyeliner. Um, I, ha I was hesitant about it, but it's very, very similar to the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. If you like that one, you might like this one. It is the same kind of really fine brush tip. So it's not like a felt tip. It's definitely a brush tip, which I prefer for liner. It's very matte. It's very dark. And you can get a perfect flick with this. I just love it. It's like, I don't know. I've just really been using it. It's long lasting. It's really easy to use. The handle is really easy to um, apply. Highly recommend this if you're looking for a new liquid eyeliner. I recommend this. This is the NARS Atomic Blonde palette. I spoke about this in my update video. The bronzer is my absolute favorite. I'm wearing it today, but I love the highlighter. I'm wearing it today. It's very natural. These two shades are gorgeous. Like if you're looking for a really simple, if you love like bronze goddess JLo vibes, if you are going on vacation, if you are holding on to summer and you don't want to let it go, then this is the palette for you. It is pricey, but 
None of the shades in here have disappointed me. And it's a darker bronzer, which I think a lot of people might appreciate. This is Galapagos, which is one of their most famous eyeshadows. These two shimmery ones are so gorgeous. It's nice and thin. It's like perfect for travel. If I ever went like on vacation to like Mexico or somewhere, this is pretty much all I would take. So I do highly recommend this one. Oh my God. I have to mention this. I got this for my birthday. This is not new, but, and I've had it many times, but this is the Sol de Janeiro. Janeiro? Janeiro? Can't say it. Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. It is expensive, as Kathleen likes to say. It is expensive. Um, but so worth it. Oh my God, look. It is just this thick cream. It feels so luxurious on the skin, but honestly, it's the scent. It smells, I don't even know. Like almonds and coconut and pineapples. It just smells like the beach. It smells so good. My boyfriend's like addicted to this smell. He loves when I wear this. I am addicted to this smell. It feels so good. It's supposed to be a tightening cream. I don't notice that. I just love the scent. It feels just so hydrating, so luxurious. There is a little bit of glitter in it, which you do notice if you put on. So some people don't like that, but... This is my favorite moisturizer. Why does it have to be so expensive? You do get a, you do get a shit ton. Like you get a lot. So I guess, but it shouldn't be fifty dollars. Thanks, mom, for getting that for my birthday. I want to talk about this eyeliner. This is the Urban Decay twenty four seven Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Lucky. It's so pretty. It is just like this copper orange. You can't really see it there. I wear it in my lower lash line from time to time, and it's just so. Uh, there's actually silver glitter in it. But it's just this stunning copper orange, and it's just so unique, and I think it looks gorgeous, even if you smudged it on your um, upper lash line. But yeah, it's just so gorgeous, so unique. I've never seen an eyeliner like this. I highly recommend this one if you're looking for like a fun color eyeliner that's totally wearable, that is just totally on trend or something like that. I love it. And last but not least, the lipstick I have been wearing the most this month. Oh no. Oh no, the shade is rubbed off. Okay, I'm gonna have to find this shade online. I will leave it down below. But this is the YSL Volupte De Shine lipsticks. These are so gorgeous. They smell like watermelon. They're just sheer gorgeous lipsticks. They're like super hydrating super sheer, super glossy and shimmery. They don't last that long on the lips, but they feel comfortable. They're like just a wipe on your lips and go. It's like a very day-to-day -day lipstick. I've had this one for so long. It's so, it's just like still going. And this shade in particular, I'll find out the number, is just like a purple, uh, like a mauve pink color. It's just like a gorgeous mauve pink color. It is so gorgeous. I absolutely love it. Scent is great. Ugh, I know it's expensive, but it looks so good on the lips. It's just like hydrating. You just throw it on. No nonsense. And I love the shade. I love the feel. I love the scent. I've been wearing this so much. And yeah. And I think that's everything. Yeah, okay. I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to enter the contest down below to win a voucher for $150 towards the Foria website. All the details will be listed down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave your August favorites in the comments down below, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!